enough on the cylinder. Now let's check the head. Here we have the original head of the Rotax 122, the Amer T team, which is a racing head, and this kind of data kit head on 140cc. So of course this is a 57 mil, this is a 54, 54. What you can see here is, uh, is probably a couple of things. One, the size of the squish band is very similar across cylinder. Probably in the heater kit is slightly, slightly larger. And I would suspect they've kept the, the inner area of the dome almost the same. of the other two, it just increased a bit. So this is 40, 41 mil. And exactly the same as the 125cc on RTT. And probably the same of the original. So really kind of what, um, what you can say is that uh, the main difference of the shape of this head is, uh, is the squish band. I'll measure later if this is actually uh, the right ratio, it's probably a bit too, too large. The other thing that you probably cannot see as much on, on camera is uh, the, um, the shape of the center part. And this is what I really like of the NRT, so this one. So this is very, I mean, the, the angle, the, the, the changing angle here from the squish band to the to an inner dome is very steep. So this goes in a lot. And I think I like this because it maximizes really kind of the volume and spread the volume for the, for the combustion in everywhere. While in the original, you can probably guess or see that uh, this angle is less steep. That means that really kind of most of the explosion in the combustion is uh, is uh, in the center. While I find uh, personally, I mean, in terms of kind of uh, carburation and uh, and also kind of pressure on the piston, uh, better the shape. The heater kit is somehow closer to the original, so has a very large uh, squish band, but then, I mean, uh, the slope here of the dome is, uh, is very gentle. Also on the NRT head, the, this angle is quite quite uh, sharp. Here, it's not, it's not much sharp. So, yeah, probably don't like this head as much, but uh, yeah, but it's, it's well done. Definitely much better than uh, than the original head. So, yeah, keen to see how that will uh, will perform. You can also see from this angle. Actually, this is a nice one for the shape of the dome with the MRT quite round, while this is almost like uh, straight and it's similar to the original one. Now the piston. Here we have the heater kit, the original one. Heater kit, of course, so one segment, two segments for the original one. This is a vertex in uh, um, 57, a bit of clearance. I do like this piston, so yeah, I think it's done, uh, done well. There is uh, an edge that is very sharp here, especially here. I think I've seen another video that has the same uh, comment. So definitely this is something that needs to be done. Also don't think there is uh, much benefit in having this uh, part very sharp, actually, I mean, it's much better to have a bit of uh, ramp for the oil just to get to the, to the side of the piston. But no, I think it's good, we'll wait this in a second. 
um, nice one what also you can see this part uh, has been machine if I just to improve the airflow from inside to outside still very sharp and uh, yes yeah, something that probably need to be to be checked once the, the piston is in uh, in the cylinder Okay, another thing that I don't like of this um, setup is the pin for the segment that is exactly straight and center in the vertex and, uh, and this uh, is exactly on the same spot as the backboard which uh, is something that I typically don't like and in fact in the Maxi Scoot 70cc cylinder the pin is on the side so it doesn't get into the port and, uh, and I feel uh, it's probably a bit better for the plating so here on the side, just to show uh, I've placed the cylinder, uh, the, the piston on the on the bottom and, uh, and what you can see is actually is actually kind of this uh, um, flow and area of the of the piston is uh, it's probably a bit uh, interfering with the with the flow of the of the ports. When you align this with the opening of the ports, this of course is much better and give a lot of a lot of clearance to the to the mixture just to just to pass. So I think here what like we'll do without uh, by damaging the, the graphite part is just to just softening this edge a bit so that at any given point in time there is a bit of a connection between uh, this part and uh, and the ports. Okay now let's just wait the piston um, against the original and see if that could create any any issue with the balancing. Now let's check the weight of those uh, two pistons and uh, I'm very curious to see the weight of the vertex one. It looks uh, lighter and especially yeah probably on the side uh, you see a bit of weight so yeah, let's check. The original one together with the pin, actually let's do one at a time. So without the pin is 143 grams and with the pin is 180. The vertex one is 125 without the pin. So almost uh, 20 grams less. And with the pin is almost uh, 160, 157. So I would say it's probably 20 gram lighter than the original one. And the original one, by the way, has been uh, um, tuned to remove this part uh, just to increase the airflow. Um, so probably kind of was uh, even uh, heavy before. So I think this is good, um, especially because uh, if you remember in the Polini 164cc kit, uh, the main issue that he had was this, the weight of the piston and uh, that was creating uh, a lot of uh, stress to the, to the, to the rod and, uh, and really kind of uh, to, the, to the various bearings. So hopefully this is not too light and will not unbalance the, all, all the rest, but, um, but yeah. Nice, um, nice piston. So, really looking forward to hear this um, this running. So, just to recap, uh, I think the cylinder is um, it's quite good, and um, just a few things need to be improved. But that is um, an easy job. Here on intake, uh, exhaust should be fine. 
I will share in another video the, the timing of the ports. It looks um, looks good. Piston looks good. It's a vertex, so hopefully it will uh, will hold and do the job. The head is uh, is okay. It's not an extreme head, but it's nice. Well done. Bad. It's always good. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think.